You've probably heard the old saying, you are what you eat. But did you ever consider that what you eat impacts the health of your brain as much as it impacts the health of your heart and other organs in your body? Well, it does, which means your brain is also what you eat. In the last video, I said what's good for your heart is good for your brain, particularly from an exercise standpoint. Why? Well, your brain is the biggest user of blood and oxygen in your body. So if what you eat is clogging your arteries, then that reduces the flow of blood to your brain. And that's not healthy. Also, your brain is the most metabolically active organ in your body. It requires roughly 10 times the amount of fuel as any other part of your body. So the health of your brain will be a vital factor in keeping dementia and a range of other brain-related diseases at bay. However, you will fail to ensure the proper health of your brain if you do not adequately supply it with the essential nutrients, vitamins, and minerals from the food you eat, not from supplements, but from the food that you consume. While all this makes common sense, neuroscientists are now giving us scientific proof of how our eating habits impact our long-term brain health. In fact, the Mediterranean style eating practices have been shown to lower the risk of dementia by 30 to 35%. And then there's something called the MIND diet, M-I-N-D. And it combines the Mediterranean approach to eating with the old DASH diet that was created in 1997 to help reduce hypertension. And the MIND diet, which combines these two things, Mediterranean approach and the DASH diet, has shown a 35% reduction in the risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Now, for the MIND diet, these are very early results. It hasn't been around that long. But so much scientific research from around the world is giving direct correlation that having better eating habits, having proper eating habits can reduce our risk for Alzheimer's, dementia, and even stroke. And the evidence that poor food choices are weakening our brains grows stronger every year. For instance, research from the Cambridge Center for Aging and Neuroscience in the United Kingdom revealed that obese people have less white matter in their brains than lean people, effectively making their brains appear as much as 10 years older. So in other words, if you take two, say, 60-year-old individuals with the same basic part of the world growing up in or living in, and one is obese and one is lean, the obese person, their brain will have similarities to a 70-year-old, whereas the 60-year-old will have a brain on average with a 60-year-old. So think about that. Excess weight will make your brain function and appear up to 10 years older than it already is. In a scientific breakthrough in 2017, an RMIT scientist in Australia showed that high sugar diets in rats can alter decision making and the ability to control behavior. So I'm sure it won't be long before the same results are seen in humans. Because so often we see these scientific breakthroughs that occurs in testing of rats and 5, 10, 12 years later, we're seeing the same results in humans. So overall, everything I've read and all the research I've done, and like I've said before, I did a lot of research when I wrote my book, Better Decisions, Better Thinking, Better Outcomes. It's pretty obvious that the Western style diet, one that's high in saturated fats, processed foods, lots of sugars, impacts the brain and not in a good way. Not only is this eating pattern or style of eating a cause of hypertension, cholesterol, and diabetes, it also affects the parts of the brain that are important for memory. You know, as I mentioned in an earlier video, men who pack on the most abdominal fat in their 40s are the most likely to develop dementia in their 60s or in their lives. So the next time you reach for that can of soda or order fried food to eat or 
binge on a package of salty snacks while watching TV, please remember that doing so not only impacts your weight, it also impacts the long-term health of your brain. As in most things, moderation is key. So just change your eating patterns, plus what we talked about in the previous video about adding a little bit of exercise, 20 to 30 minutes a day of some kind of aerobic exercise, maybe adding some mindfulness practices to your daily routine, whether that's meditation or something else, doesn't matter, and leveraging the benefits of mother nature and changing your eating habits. Moderation is key reducing weight if you have excess weight. All of these will be important factors in reducing your risk for Alzheimer's, dementia, or even stroke. So that's it. In the next video, I'll summarize the key points in the series on long-term brain health and share some resources with you. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. All the best.